This demonstration will illustrate how to sew a two signature book using a Coptic binding. I'm using corrugated boards for the cover and I have five holes for the sewing. The parts of the book are the two covers and the two signatures. One length of thread equal to each part of the book or four lengths in this case is all that's necessary. You start on the bottom cover <coughs> placed on top of a block of wood you can see the five holes. You can use more holes if you want. Five in this case is what I've used. And I start from the bottom with the one length of thread. And in this case, I'm going to tie the thread right from the very beginning. And I'm going to create two wraps around the binding edge. This is the spine of the book that we're looking at. I can trim that <clears throat> extra thread off if I want. But to start binding the book, I, draw, I'm, I take my needle into the pre-punched hole that's in the spine. And I immediately turn the needle around as soon as the needle goes in to the inside. You can see I'm just illustrating a little detail, detail photo here. So it's going in and coming out in that first hole or that second hole there. And I'm pulling the thread away or in the direction in which I'm sewing once the thread is tight I'm going to once again come from underneath the cover I'm going to wrap around once and I'm going to tighten it <clears throat> I'll make sure that it's tight because it is sewn on one edge there and I'm going to do two wraps around on each station where I attach the signature to the cover once I've checked to make sure that it's tight I then reinsert the needle in the same hole and I immediately turn it around and come out the next sewing hole, the sewing station, and I pull the thread in the direction that I'm sewing and I make sure things are aligned. Once they're tight, I start from the bottom again. I do two wraps around. You could do more if you wanted to make it uh, just look different. But at this case, in each station, I'm making sure that it's tight. And I'm going back into the hole that I came out. And I come out now in the fourth sewing station. I come from underneath, wrap the, the sewing thread around twice, make sure it's tight, make sure it doesn't get caught, make sure it's tight. Once it's tight, then I go back in the hole and I come out the final hole. So it's just re repeating it as you've done earlier. In this case I'll now take wrap the thread around twice around the cover on this final hole. I'll make sure it's tight. If I, Once I go to the next station it's very difficult to tighten it. So at this point I make sure that it's tight and I bring the next signature. So this is a two signature book and I'm bringing in the second signature already. I take the needle, put it in that first hole, bring it out the second hole, make sure it's tight. And then I'm going to illustrate that I just go under, I come out the hole and I go to the stitch right beneath the one that I'm sewing. So when I do the kettle stitch I always go to the signature that's only right below it. As I go up I only go down one signature to make sure that that chain or kettle stitch. And I just turn the needle around very soon. I push it in and then just grab it and turn it around. I do it one time I go back in the hole. The video will cut away here. Pull the needle through, turn the needle around before all the thread. And now you can see a broader shot. And it's just going to repeat. It's going underneath the signature right beneath it. I turn the needle around and make sure I don't make a knot there. Pull the thread tight. I say this too much, but at each station make sure it's tight because if you if it's loose it's very hard to come back and tighten it up. 
Go back in that third hole, turn the needle around, come out in this next sewing station, pull the thread in the direction you're sewing, make the kettle stitch to the, sig to the signature right underneath it, tighten the thread, make sure that things are, are stacked properly, go back in the hole, turn the needle around and come back out in the final hole. I'm just showing that I, you don't want that to split there so you're going to put the thread underneath that signature as well and tighten that down and so now you have tightened or sewn at all five stations since this illustration only has two covers I'm sorry two signatures you could add more if you want but you can see here I'm attaching the hard cover the stiff board by wrapping it around twice. I'm going back into the signature. I'm checking to make sure, and you're going to see that there are two threads going in this demonstration because I came up one and now that I'm sewing the cover, I'm attaching that again. Making sure that I don't tie a knot. Go around the board twice. and then you're going to take the needle and go back into the signature that's right beneath it. It would be the exact same uh, if you had three signatures or four signatures just for time's sake I'm only using two. I mean it would make a nice book just to have two signatures but for, for, for video purposes here I'm just using two. Just like in the first cover I wrap around it twice it's hard to get it just be patient it tends to slide around take the thread and wrap it around again about the third station that you sew the book does become a little more uh, easier to sort of keep arranged and after I go through it twice or wrap it twice I'm going to go back into that top signature With my left hand, I'm going to turn the needle around and come out in the fourth station there, or the fourth sewing hole there. Once again, you can use any material you want. I like the cardboard because it, you know, you could attach images to it or you could paint on it it's it's readily available it might make might make a nice recycled a recycled uh, cardboard box project to finish it off I'm going inside the signature that last signature in the fourth hole turning it around showing you turning it around bringing the needle out pretty much it's all sewn except for attaching the, f the thread onto the last board or last hole I should say. Sometimes the holes need to be persuaded. I'm going to go around twice just like I did in every other one. Sometimes you wish you had another hand. Once it goes around twice then I'm just going to open the book to make sure one last time to check that it's all tight because once I tie it I'm not going to be able to readjust readjust it. Once it's tight then I'm going to take the needle inside and I'll tie the thread through the loops two times maybe three times just to finish off and secure the thread. So that's twice in most cases I probably will do it a third time. I can cut that. I could leave it real long to use as a bookmark. You know you you can be creative but here it is a Coptic stitch. Thank you.